Hello, in this video I will go over how to get TrueNAS scale up and running in Proxmox. I will also use PCIe pass-through to pass the physical disks in the system through to TrueNAS. Before you can start with Proxmox, you will have to enable VTD or IOMMU in the BIOS, if you are unsure on how to go about doing this. I have added a link in the video description showing how to do it for different motherboard manufacturers and processors. When that is done, it's time to configure PCIe pass-through in Proxmox. SSH to or open the shell on your Proxmox server. There is only two files that need to be configured. The first one is grub. Open this file with the command nano space slash etc slash default slash grub. What you have to look for in this file is grub underscore cmd line underscore linux underscore default. Add to this line or change it out with the command in the video description. After that, you can save with Ctrl S and exit with Ctrl X. Now run the command update grub to make the changes take effect. Next is the modules file. Type in nano space slash etc slash modules, then press enter. In this file, add the four VFIO lines. Then press Ctrl S to save and Ctrl X to exit. You should now be done configuring Proxmox. Give it a quick reboot to make sure everything comes up as it should. When you are waiting for Proxmox, head over to TrueNAS.com and download the TrueNAS scale ISO file. You can find the file by clicking Get TrueNAS, then download TrueNAS scale. If you don't wish to create an account, navigate all the way down and click No Thank You. And there you should get the download button. When you are done downloading the ISO file, head back to Proxmox and upload it there. It's now time to create the virtual machine. Give it a name and add a check mark if you wish it to start at boot. For OS, all you will have to do is add the ISO file. Skip over system to disks. All I will be adding here now is the disk I wish to install through NAS on. Give it some CPU cores, some memory, and then finish up the creation. Now to add some storage disks. Click your newly created virtual machine. Then hardware, followed by add, and PCI device. NVMe drives should be no problem to add, unless you run into what I did. This drive shows the wrong size for what it actually is, and the virtual machine would not start when this drive was added. The other thing I'm adding here is the SATA controller, and I would highly advise against doing that. This is just a test setup, with Proxmox installed on a drive connected via USB. If you do this in a real setup, you will most likely crash your server. What you can add instead is a PCIe SATA card, that can be bought from multiple places on the internet. You can now start the installation of TrueNAS. And if you look back to Proxmox now, you should see that the drives are gone and picked up by TrueNAS. The installation of TrueNAS is fairly straightforward. Click enter on the first option install slash upgrade. If you're like me and haven't added a bunch of memory, you might get a message like this. Just navigate to yes and press enter. Now select the drive you wish to install TrueNAS on. Navigate to it, press space, then enter. Press enter on yes about the warning that it will remove all data. Now press enter on the administrative user and then create an admin password. When you've created the admin password, the installation will begin. This might take a while, depending on your machine. You will get a message when the installation is done. Press enter, then enter again on reboot system. When it comes back up after the reboot, you will get a few options and the address you can reach it by via a web browser. Take that address over to a web browser and enter it into the search bar. If you enter the HTTPS version, you will get a warning. Click Advanced, then accept the risk and continue. To log in, 
The username will be admin and the password will be what you created during installation. To get a basic network share up and running, start by clicking storage, then create pool. Check the mark next to the disks you wish to add to the pool and click the right arrow. Give your pool a name, then click create. In the warning box that comes up, check confirm, then click create pool. Now, click Datasets, then click the pool you just created, then click Add Dataset. Give it a name and scroll down and click Save. Now to add the network share. Click Shares, then add next to the type of share you wish to use. For me it will be SMB. Select the folder you wish to share, then click Save. Check the mark next to enable this service to start automatically, then click enable service. In the next window, scroll all the way down and click save access control list. To create a user to access the share with, click credentials, then local users, followed by add, fill out the information like full name, username and password. Then scroll down to the bottom and click save. Now to access this share from Windows. Open the file explorer, click this PC, then right click on an empty space and click show more options. Here you will get the option to add a network location. Click that. Follow the wizard and when you come to the part to specify the location, type in backslash backslash the IP address of your server, then backslash, then click browse. When you click the server in the pop-up window, you should be prompted to add the username and password. Type in the username and password of the user you just created. You can now click your share, OK, and Next. Give it a name, then click Next again. You should get access to the share when you click Finish. Also, if you wish to set a static IP address for TrueNAS, navigate to Network, then click your network interface. Remove the checkmark next to DHCP, and then click Add next to Aliases. Type in the IP address you wish it to have, a bit mask, and then click Save. You will then have to add the IP address for your router. Now, click Test Changes and check the box next to confirm, then click test changes again. To save the changes, head over to the new address, then log in and click save on the prompt. And that's it for this video. I hope it was of some use. Thanks for watching and goodbye.